So you have your cameras at the same interface as your printer and other computers, and you want to limit the bandwidth that is allocated to those cameras. What do you do? Well, for start, let's create a VLAN, and then let's create a traffic shaper for that VLAN. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So we have our interface, which is at the 10.0.2.1, which is the warehouse interface. And now let's create a VLAN for our cameras that are located at that warehouse. <laughs> So let's name our interface IP cams. It is associated to our internal tree port and the VLAN ID, which we will configure on the switch will be VLAN number 100. Now let's give it the IP address of 10.0.3.1 that will be the VLAN gateway and let's enable the DHCP uh, server. Let's, let's give it another uh, IP address since it conflicts with our WAN interface. So we have our warehouse interface which is connected directly to our switch and we also have the IP cams VLAN, which is in another broadcast domain. The next step, assuming that we have a policy that allows access from that VLAN uh, towards the internet, the next step is to create a traffic shaper. So we'll head over to policy and objects, traffic shapers. And let's create a new shared shaper. Let's name it IPCAM. Let's keep the traffic priority to high. And let's allow a maximum bandwidth of 10 megabits. Um, no need for guaranteed bandwidth. The third step is to create a policy. So let's create a policy that will allow all cameras in the 10.0.9.0 subnet uh, to upload traffic using um, the RTSP streaming protocol with a, a maximum bandwidth of up to 10 megabits that will serve all three cameras. So the source Let's create an address object of our VLAN. So let's call it IP cameras. All right. And the subnet is the 10.0.9.0. That's the firewall address uh, object. We can keep interface to any and let's enable it. So now let's head over to our traffic shaping policy and let's create a new policy for um, any traffic that comes from that VLAN. So in our source, let's choose IP cameras. That's our VLAN destination is all service. Now we can uh, leave the service to all, but let's, let's limit the traffic shaping only to the RTSP, which is the streaming protocol used by our cameras. The outgoing interface is our WAN. Now, since we're using a shared shaper, we can choose both the upload and the download, but let's keep it only to the upload traffic. And that's the 
easy way to limit devices that are using specific application protocols such as RTSP or any other protocol. We configure a firewall address object, we configure a traffic shaper, and we configure a traffic shaping policy that will be enabled on that specific source with that specific service.